Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lachelle here back with another video. So I have been feeling so... <clears throat> Uh, okay. I've been feeling so uninspired lately, right? And on top of that, I'm here trying to sit down and record a video and these people outside make it all kind of noise on my roof. Yeah, so way to pack on the pressure. But anyways, you're not here for that. So let's talk about how I've been feeling so uninspired, guys. I just don't know. Like, I don't know. I feel like maybe I need to do like a clash or something to get myself back into the groove of makeup. I've been focusing so much on hair lately that I have not had the time to really just like get my juices wet, you know? And yeah, I don't want my talent and my skill to suffer. So today I'm really going to try to push the boundaries of that. Um, I kind of have an idea of what I want in a look today. I just really want to, I don't know, I want to create something fun today. I think I try to be so clean and so perfect. And today I'm really going to try to push the boundaries of that all right so guys if you hear the noise in the background you know what I'm, 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 I've been doing voiceovers lately so I'm gonna stick with the voiceover so before we get into this look go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me darling you know you want to so let's just get that out of the way and while you're at it just hit the notification bell for me too so you're notified when I upload another video how about that all right guys so without any more talking let's get into this look shall we all right guys so starting off with my nars and honestly sometimes i feel like okay do i even need to go through this part because if you've watched my videos you know like my routine is basically kind of the same but if you are new to the channel well i guess i might as well huh because you may just be new to my channel so i am starting off with my nars foundation and i am applying that in dots well this is the first time that i'm applying it in dots you know <laughs> And I'm going in with my Real Techniques face brush and I'm just going to blend that in. And like I've said before, I have really been loving these NARS um, foundations. This Radiant Longwear foundation is absolutely beautiful. Um, I mean, just look at how flawless my skin looks. This like NARS hit it on the head with this particular foundation for me. So I'm going to blend this in and then I'm going to be using something new. I'm actually going to be using, um, well, not even something new because this was actually a staple in my kit years ago and I decided to pick it back up. It's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealers. So I'm mixing NW35 and NC42 together. It's either NC42 or NC45. I think it's NC42 though. Mixing those together to do my highlight. And can I tell you that this was so bomb. I have to reach for this more often. So use that. I'm gonna blend the outside with my face brush. I kind of got this idea. Well, I got this, not kind of. Got this technique from Kiki Adams. Love her channel. And then I'm gonna blend with the setting brush by Real Techniques. And I'm going to do my contour. I'm actually gonna mix it this time with my Fashion Fair um, foundation stick in Java and with my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation foundation stick in the color truffle and yeah I love how this came out It's all right. I know you feel this. 
I know you need it. You say you want us, but do you mean it? Alright, so going in with my Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, I am going in with the color Blazing and Amber. So I'm starting off with the color Blazing, which is this rich orange color, and then you will see me go in with the darker color called Amber. I will follow it up with two other colors, see, right here, going in with Amber. And then after this, I am following it up with now, that is the color Oud and Amethyst. So going in with Amethyst first, I'm going to blend that over Blazing and Amber, and then I am going to go over it with Oud just to um, kind of smoke it out a little bit more. So here I am going in with the P. Louise. Um, eyeshadow base and I'm cutting my crease I think this is in the color rumor three or four I am going to use this to cut my crease and then I'm just going to go back over the colors like oud amber and amethyst to blend those colors into where I cut the crease and then I'm gonna go right back into this Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and I'm going to use the colors Blood Moon, Angelic, and Nefertiti and I'm going to use those in the inner corner to really make this um, cut crease look pop. All right, now I am going to take the color Enchanted by Anastasia Beverly Hills and mix it with a color called Flannel from Sydney Grace. The darker color is ABH and then this big, bright, beautiful purple. That's from an um, indie brand called Sydney Grace. This color Flannel is so beautiful. And then that's White Gold by J. LaRue Cosmetics. And then, I mean, you guys know the rest. This, of course, is my Amon face powder, honey, that I've been using, and it's going, it's just been giving me so much life. I love these Amon powders. Um, gonna bronze with Anastasia Beverly Hills Mahogany. They're bronzer in the color Mahogany. I am going to highlight the high points of my cheeks with the NARS Albatross, and I think I used Makeup Shayla, um, the bronze blush that came in her Proceed with Caution palette. To finish this look off, I am going in with Fino from MAC. This is, um, I love this lip liner, a nice deep um, berry type lip liner. And then I am going to go in with the Dose of Colors Berry Me 2 liquid lipstick. And I love, I mean, look at this color. It's gorgeous and it dries down matte. And yeah, love how everything came out. all right guys here is the finished look let me know what you think because <laughs> i love it <laughs> 
oh my goodness so how about I was about to do a red lip right and at the last minute like I got the red sitting right here but at the last minute I was like you know what I got this dose of colors purple this is the color bury me too and I was like, you know what? Let me do a bold purple because I don't think I've ever like done a bold purple before. And man, she is looking cute. <laughs> I like it. I really like it. I love, love, love. What I envisioned in my head is exactly how it came out. So I'm excited. I'm glad that I was able to push the envelope. You guys know, like I said in the beginning, I was having a little rut. I was in a little rut. Like I was having a difficult time, like just really, um, I don't know, just being inspired and just pushing myself and just enjoying makeup like I used to, like, you know, being creative and I think I lost that. I felt like I had lost that creativity, but <laughs> what I envisioned is definitely what took place on this canvas, honey. <laughs> but you guys, let me know what you think. I really, I really, this looks, this screams summertime, okay? It is hot as heck here in South Florida and this look screams, I am ready for the summer, boo boo. Let's go to South Beach. Let's go on the boat. Let's go on the water. Let's live it up. Take my picture. Yes, watch me slay. Yes. I mean, you guys like my earrings. Babe bought me these from Zara. And, you know, I did my hair up. My hair is looking a hot mess. I need just, ugh. There's a whole nother thing. I thought I was going to have a good hair day and a bad makeup day. And it just went the complete opposite but I'm glad that the makeup came out the way I really wanted it to guys all right so give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you like this video and leave a comment below letting me know if you like this video all right my beauties until I see you guys again stay beautiful bye bye